anti-ULES activists have blocked every camera in the London borough of Sutton in a protest against the scheme. Joining me now to discuss this is Paul Scully, Conservative MP for Sutton and Cheam and ex-Minister for London. Hi, Paul. Hi, uh, how are you? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? So, Paul, yeah, really what has been going on with the rebels in Sutton? What happened? Yeah, so there, there have been um, people protesting about ULES, this ULES expansion to outer London for months now, since uh, the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, first announced it in a hurry. Uh, and realising that it is a cash cow, it's not about reducing pollution because there are so many more effective ways of doing that than what he's trying to do. And so what they did, um, there have been so-called blade runners that have been damaging cameras, but my understanding, out of the 107 cameras uh, that are across Sutton, some of them aren't working anyway, and they, they covered them up for a few hours in, in the afternoon to, to raise that, that the protest. And uh, so I don't condone criminal damage, but that kind of protest, I think, is fair. Um, what they've also done uh, is they complain about the mayor rightly, because not only is it a cash cow, but he's got one of these cameras smack bang next to the Royal Marsden Hospital that treats cancer for people around the world, never mind the country, coming in. The first thing they see when they realise they're in a ULED zone is the camera that's snapping them to get them a fine. That's disappointing. So, Paul, what have they actually done? Have they sprayed them black or what have they actually done to them? Yeah, my, well, what, what I, from what I saw, I wasn't at the protest, from what I saw, they were putting cardboard and posters and th these sort of things, blocking them rather temporarily rather than actually damaging them. Uh, so, you know, they, they did it for about two or three hours and then they removed them and then, uh, and then life goes on. They've made their point without that damage, as far as I understand. In the past, things have been damaged and, and to the extent that some of these cameras have been blown up. Definitely, definitely condone that. Don't condone that because that causes a lot of problem. Apart from criminal damage, it's a criminal act. It's also in some areas uh, potentially caused accidents as well. So, Paul, we know that it's in terms of it's an unpopular policy. Given that you're a Conservative MP in a seat which has a very unpopular system imposed, the ULA system imposed by the Labour mayor, do you think? If this isn't going to do you any harm, is it? And how, what do you think it's going to do for Sadiq Khan in the mayoral elections? Well, Sadiq Khan is uh, hugely unpopular around London at the moment. And what's been interesting, with regional government, people don't tend to take notice. They look at what's happening in Westminster. Sometimes they come alive to what's happening locally with their bins and those kind of things at the council. They don't really look at lo London government very closely until they get to an election, apart from something like this that directly has an impact on the lowest paid or, you know, around the, that have to rely on their cars, on small businesses that have to rely on their cars and their vans to get around, and of course for charities as well. So some, so for the first time in the seven years of City Khan, they're actually looking at, crikey, is this what the mayor's doing to us? What's coming next? And so it will affect him. It is affecting his, his popularity, and rightly so. He's been comfortably the worst mayor out of the three that we've had. Um, and I think we agree on who the best one was. Uh, but the, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is his chickens are coming home to roost. He's put in an unpopular measure. He's rushed it through. He's had no regard to those people that I was talking about, no regard to outer London. So, Paul, can you just explain for people, um, if, if you live in the area where there are, because a lot of the country obviously doesn't have this, this draconian system mm -hmm. of ULES cameras that you're living with, do they, do residents have, um, do they have exemption? Can they come and go in their car without having to go through these cameras? How does it work? Who absolutely not. No, absolutely not. They don't get any exemption at all. They, uh, they've got access to a scrappage scheme. So what the mayor is trying to do is to try and drive them out of those cars. Um, and uh, so there's no exemption for them because he doesn't want to give them uh, any benefit of the doubt. He wants them to go out and change their cars. And uh, uh, he's on that sort of, zealotry if so you like if you, of that can't af if you can't afford to buy a new car and you're a single mum and you've got a couple of kids and you need to get them to school every day you need to pay this charge it's 12 pound 50 every single day that you that you move your car so, in that area you so if i moved car. my car off my drive to take the kids to school and then came home and then went out in yeah. the afternoon to collect them do i pay twice or just once it's 12 no it's 12 pound it's 12 pound 50 a day it's 12 pound 50 a day so that's still hefty sum exactly as you say if you're a mum taking your kids to school you know if you imagine you're a small business if you're an electrician or a builder or something like that and you're going to someone to give someone a quote 
you, 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 uh, but you're not guaranteed the business. You're paying £12.50 before you even start. If you're a charity, you have to pay for these. And it's even one of his councils, Hounslow Council, Labour-run council, who were supportive of this ULES expansion, which has, by the way, been in place. Boris Johnson brought it in in central London, rightly so, because it because actually you've got lots of alternatives with tubes and other things like that. Um, and then it got expanded under Sadiq Khan. But what you've got done now is the way it's been expanded is something we don't have a single tube. We don't have a tram. We don't have any alternatives. We have buses and trains which help get in and out of London, but they don't help the single mums. They don't help the small businesses. They don't help the charities, as we've been describing. So, Paul, just a quick question before we have to go. Why aren't you running for London Mayor? Look, I would love to run for London Mayor and the Dean. I thought I was the best uh, candidate for, for, for the job when we got longlisted, but unfortunately our party um, uh, thought otherwise. They, I think they overthought it and um, uh, they didn't want anyone that was uh, cl too close to, uh, to, to, to government. Um, and so, which is unfortunate because it's a big, big operation. It's a £20 billion a year operation. And so we've got to step up in this campaign with a candidate that we have to make sure that we actually show that City Khan is found wanting and he, and he needs removing. Another Rishi Sunak mistake. Thank you very much, Paul. You would have been a fantastic candidate. and I'm very sure we'd stand a very good chance of winning if you were running. OK, so over to Rachel and Kevin, who are still with me. What a loss for our party, not having Paul Scully as, as Mayor of London. He was oh, a yeah. great city's minister. He was, he's just been a great... I worked with him throughout COVID. He's a great minister. Absolutely wrong that in that the party chose not to allow him through. That's the members for you. But no, I agree. It'd be far I better than more Susan to do with Hall. Number 10. Oh, no, it wasn't the members who chose the... No, no, no. The Tory Tory I mean, I suppose in, who was on the short list. Yeah. yeah, I suppose you're right. Kept off. No, he would have been a much yeah. better candidate than Susan Hall. Uh, Sadiq Khan, the Labour Party in London, must give prayers every day to whoever in the Conservative <laughs> Party decided to block... Paul Scully. I disagree with him on Ulez, but he's just he's just far more competent and credible than a candidate who didn't even know the price of a, a bus fare. You know, we had Sam Casimo, we had uh, Paul Scully, we had loads of really. Have you interviewed people. Susan Paul? No, I haven't yet, but I should do. She should do you. I yeah. mean, I like her policy of uh, there's only one thing I think that I've agreed with so far, which is that she's going to scrap the maximum ski speed limit on main roads of 20 miles an hour, which Everybody hates in London. Come on, what are you? Even, no, 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 I'm just even you, Kevin, can agree that, with that. That's all you've got on it. You, you know, she's she's several sandwiches short of the full picnic. No, no, no. Please don't say that. I absolutely hate that when men only ever use that oh. accusation against women. Sorry, Nadine. I use I'd... that. I use that against many men. So you, you say, Mark I've... Francois. So, so I mean, you're he, saying, I mean, you he's not just a few. He's not just a few sandwiches. Don't, and honestly, as a former mental no, health minister. As a former mental health minister for two years, right. I loathe it right. when people make now... mental health accusations against people right. when it actually just isn't L true. That wasn't Politic mental health. Like her. That was a maybe eccentric, but that, that doesn't mean not she... it wasn't mental health. It was accusing her of being not the sharpest knife in the drawer. One of those endless. You know. Wait, she... No, 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 no. You no, know, no, no, no. no. Come That's on, I'll, I'll go through. No, it. That's she... used she... mad. She's Sandwich be... short of a picnic. The dean. Oh, okay. bonkers, the all dean. of that. She didn't know that she wants to be in charge of transport. Didn't know the price of uh, a bus fare. She wanted to be ch in charge of the police, which she would be. She didn't know what a police officer was getting. She what, came what's up. What's a police officer's salary it's in about, the Met? It's starting salary is thirty-seven, thirty-eight thousand. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to catch you out then. Yeah, um, I knew that too. Yeah, uh, I think a bus fare is one seventy-five. Anyway, um, one thirty-five. Mm, no, I think you're behind the time. Sorry if I'm allowed to say that, Nadine, you without are. getting, I am you know, getting the an attack. Anyway. Can someone check? I think it's 135. 